guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Cardi B because she went off on a few Twitter users. So Culture has an Instagram. I did not even know that. And basically, um, she saw all these negative comments about Culture on her Instagram. Now, I don't know why Culture needs an Instagram considering that she's like, what, five? But anyway, I digress. So basically, she was wishing that some people would die um, because of the Instagram comments that were left underneath um, Culture's pictures. But my whole thing is Cardi B always be wishing bad on people, but she don't want nobody to say anything to her. It amazes me. You know, you say something to Cardi B, she get all upset, get ready to sue. But my whole thing is you wish moms to get harmed while giving birth and you're a mom. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, it's kind of hypocritical. But I'm not really shocked about that because it's Cardi B at the end of the day. And I was looking at some of the comments. And yes, they were trolling. Um, but they were saying like, oh, I want your account to get disabled. Like, I didn't really see anything that was that bad. They did say that she had a big head and things of that. I think these are troll pages. But... At the end of the day, um, she's not really supposed to be reading Instagram comments anyway. You know, I don't know if I would let my five-year-old have Instagram. I feel like maybe TikTok would be better so that way she can dance at least or make videos. But she's still going to get troll comments no matter where she goes, okay? Trolls are everywhere. But I just don't feel like it was necessary. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, another thing is allegedly some Barty gang members and the Swifties are trying to block Nikki from going number one. Yes, I'm putting it on blast. They basically are trying to buy Bruno Mars song. Um, so that way it can stay at number one. Okay. So that means we got to go hard because the Swifties like, I don't even know what their problem is. Like, nobody has done anything to you guys. You guys always go number one. Um, I'm sure Taylor Swift would be disgusted. But Garbage Gang, or whatever they call themselves, I can understand why they would be upset. I mean, because Cardi B is doing everything else instead of putting out music. She hasn't had an album in five years, okay? Um, still... Invasion of Privacy is her only album, and according to the charts, it's still successful, though. Moving on to Nicki Minaj. She went on live a few days ago to discuss who was supposed to be on Bussin. So listen to the clip here. It was here listening to music, and when I started playing Bussin, Dre turned around and was like, what the fuck was that? And he was like, I fuck with that. You know, he put his, 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 his album out. I knew I would have to wait, and I asked, baby... You know, what he, what he felt about. So basically, Drake was originally supposed to be on Bussin. Um, and he also told her to put that single out first. Um, when she went on live that day, which was a few days ago, a lot of fans on Twitter were not too happy that she did not listen to Drake. Because he said that Bussin was basically a hit. Now, I like Do We Have a Problem. Um, that snippet that dropped of Bussin, I'm not really crazy about it, but I think a lot of people only like that record because she's rapping fast. Okay. Now people want things to twerk to. They don't care about lyricism. They don't care about you having metaphors, having bars. They only care about if you can twerk to the record. That's basically what I'm getting because do we have a problem? I like that record. The hook is catchy. Um, I'm seeing people doing videos to it. So obviously, um, the song is not trash, okay? Um, and it's not like Lick, where it kind of sounds like WAP 2.0. So I feel like people are just not really giving it a chance. But all I know is it better be top five, okay? Or we're going to have a serious problem. Because at the end of the day... She got radio playlisting, billboards, 
Okay. Um, stuff she didn't have before for a long time. And so she's giving everybody the tools to get that number one. Stuff like that ain't free. Who knows what Nikki had to do to get all of that. She's been doing her symbolisms, wearing her cheetah print. She deserves that number one. Moving on to Chris Cosby and Dolja Cat. Because I'm hearing now that Chris Cosby is going to go through RCA to get that Dolja Cat feature. Now, if you guys don't know, they're both on the same label. And if you guys remember on my last video I did on Chris Cosby and Dolja Cat, um, I told you guys that in 2020, Chris wanted a collaboration with Dolja Cat. But what happened was they both were in some scandals. You know, people thought, you know, Dolja Cat was against black people. And then, you know, a woman came out and said that Chris was a colorist. And so, uh, allegedly, Dolja Cat's team was like, it might not be a good time for a collaboration right now. But you never know what the future holds. Now, I don't know if they're going to be making a new record together. But I kind of feel as though... Um, it may not go well for Doja Cat to collaborate with Chris Brown. Now, Chris Brown needs Doja Cat, but Doja Cat does not need Chris Brown. And with these new cases and allegations that he got against him about allegedly giving women substances and taking advantage of them, I don't know if that would be a good idea for Doja Cat to get wrapped up in that. But then again, she also collaborated with French Montana and he had some allegations against him. So maybe she's just going to focus in on the talent. But this is not what a picky feature looks like. Okay? So if Doja Cat collaborates with Chris Brown, I can already tell that when she said that she was being picky with features, she's really not being picky because at the end of the day, Chris Brown is not a collaboration Doja Cat needs. I can understand Doja Cat and Drake. That would be fire. But she already tried to get a collaboration with Drake. Moving on to Megan the Stallion. So I'm hearing that Megan is filming something. Okay. Now, from what I've been hearing, she will be getting into film. And yeah, she got that Netflix deal. But that was more for the producing side of things. I am hearing that Megan the Stallion will, you know, get into her acting bag a little bit more. And I'm not even talking about that Marvel movie. OK, she really wants to get into acting and I think it's a smart idea. And hey, if, you know, Tori is proven innocent and people not really messing with her musically, she can always get into acting full time. So I think that might be a good idea for Megan Thee Stallion, you know, just in case. Now, it seems as though they're pushing the record Megan's piano, but they should have been done that. Okay, they should have been pushed Megan's piano. That record is better than thought shit, but I already kind of feel like it's too late now because, you know, the song came out last year for like a good three months. You did not push the record. Um, you're definitely going to need a music video to fully push it. And on top of that, you're throwing shots in it. Some people may not really fuck with it like that. So let me know if you guys are listening to Megan's Piano, if you're going to stream the record in the future to help Megan Thee Stallion. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.